good morning. We're so glad you're here. We did a vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day, especially because today's Friday. And that means the weekend's here. We have an orange theory now. Um, I think it's daylight savings tomorrow, so it won't probably be this bright when I leave class next week, but that'll mean it'll be brighter later, which will make me feel so, so happy. I gotta get home, see my friends, and get started for work because it can't start the weekend if I don't get into work and get that over with. Also, it was in fact snowing last night and this morning. It didn't, it wasn't a lot, like it's on the street, but why? Like, why? So good. It's so good. It's so good. Look who's awake. We're gonna get a piece of uh, soda bread buttered up for James and, and mommy to share for breakfast. Did you sleep good? I'm good. Yeah, you just you just want your soda bread. You're like, I don't know what's going on. Just give me my soda bread. Taking a little early lunch from work to make Sarah and James some scrambled eggs and made me a little sandwich on my side. Um, but this Friday's feeling good. Work isn't uh, too crazy. Good morning, everyone. I woke up with a headache and I embraced some egg protein and had a little bit of medicine, hopefully just to stop it in its tracks. So. We can enjoy our Friday. Look at that paw on Evie. Jamesy and I did some coloring. We're playing. May or may not still be in jammies. But that's all right. He's got a fuzzy head. Is nap time going to be fun today? Are you going to go down for a nap? Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> oh, that was a little too harsh. I'll let you know how next time goes. <laughs> Look at that sunshine coming in. Um, I said I would give a nap time update. And again, like, Jamesy, he is like falling asleep and he realizes it. And then he gets so upset. Like, if he was just like doze off he'd be so much happier um and lately like we're not like truly sleep training like i'm not like i'm fine with rocking him i'm fine with you know transitioning him to a water bottle like i am like totally fine taking the time to to do that and to be like to be in there with him it's totally fine with me i just i don't want him to be crying in my arms either and that's like what's been happening is he just gets so upset and then the thing that comforts him is getting him like two more ounces of milk and then he falls right asleep but I guess it's a transition and then he's been snoozing for a while um we're gonna get out hopefully right away I'm getting the vlog up now um so once he wakes up we'll be headed downtown Peter just brought me a treat Patrick's Day weekend, Patrick's Day weekend. Let's go to a pub. <laughs> Find a green beer. Yeah. yeah. Um, got some of the, the corn beef. Right? Corn beef? Yeah. Like Reuben fritters? Reuben fritters. Um, also cooking up some tater tots. Hey. Air fryer, we cleaned it. Heck it's yeah. Good. We can use it. <laughs> so these will start off our St. Patty's Day weekend. It is cool that St. Patrick's Day is during the week because then you can celebrate both weekends, like the bookend weekends and during the week. You're only gonna see it for a moment right now, but guess who's ready for St. Patrick's Day weekend in Chicago? <laughs> He's not the biggest fan of it right now, but we'll get there. Oh gosh. Peter. 
spiders trolling me by putting the volume up and down. Um, so we're in the car. Am I in focus? I was, now I am, maybe. Um, he opened the window. Why are you giving me side eye over there? Huh? We're gonna pop into the peel box and then find a pup. That's the plan. I didn't really know if that was like a hundred percent or not. I feel like it is the plan. It is chilly, it's 29. Um, but we figured we would kind of like do this before we were like in for the night if we were gonna go to the peel box anyways. I wanna show you guys this like mural that is at New City. There's Forrest Gump. There is My Fair Lady and Jack and Rose from Titanic. And Sound of Music. That was pretty cool. I just hopped out to check the P.O. box. Check it out, we're going around in circles around the post office while Sarah runs in. And look, at there's a, a newer UIC sign i mean it might not be newer i just haven't seen it in the last four years because that was that that logo was designed our senior year or sarah's senior year my junior year because that took a long time i just love our peel box it feels just like i stepped back in time and here we are with our famous looking uh post office here pretty nifty huh Hello. we got a lovely package from our friend Makaya. We'll show you guys that when we get home. Um, but we're gonna go to Miller's Pub. We're gonna see if the lights are there. Yeah. I think they should. They offer lots of good food. For reference, this is Adams and Wabash. Here is Miller's Pub already for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, this is where we're going. James, you got Coloring page and crayons. Wow. So we have this suggestions menu. Sounds yummy. I have what? Something called a Wabash Old Fashioned. Ooh. This is Chicago Heffin Weiss. Ooh. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, Jamesy water too. You want to pause and look at their menu? This is what they got. We have not been here in a very long time. Last time we were here. <laughs> there were some shenanigans going on with our college program roommates. <laughs> um, but Peter would suggest this place to people at the hotel he worked at all the time. It's uh, one of the only 4 a.m. liquor licenses in the city. Oh. So like, a lot of the other bars close at 2 and they would come back to the hotel. Or they would ask before they were going out, I'm like go to Miller's Club uh, and it's open till four. There was almost a fight. So the table next to us ordered right before us and we were eyeing the chicken pot pie which exclusively says while supplies last. And our server, somebody was like, hey, I want chicken pot pie. She's like, good, because I only have two left. And they ordered one. I was like, Sarah, we're about to end his shoes. But then nobody else ordered one. So she came up here and I was like, there might be a scuttle. We want the chicken pot pie. She's like, hold on. And she like ran over to the register, put it in on hold for us. I forgot what I was saying because, oh, we got the last chicken pot pie. But I cut that clip because our waitress looks like Aunt Polly from Picky Blinders. And I feel like she wouldn't want to be caught on camera. Um, but we got the last chicken pot pie. We also got cheese curds and a salad and some French fries to kick off this uh, St. Patrick's Day festive weekend. What are you munching on? Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its are so good. Cheez-Its are so good, hey. <laughs> Here we go, look at this chicken pot pie. French fries, chicken pot pie looks like divinity. Wisconsin cheese curds. Bread. House salad and bread. Look at how excited we get. We're so excited. And just like that, all of the food has been devoured. We paid our bill, James is ready to go, and it was quite honestly just so decadent and delicious, everything. The cheese curds were amazing. Chicken pot pie, delicious. 
It's so funny though, he's been signing like all the time for the past Yeah, he's years. like wanted to leave. But we have, we're like, James, we have to pay for our food. And he's like, all done, all yeah. done. The salad, I want you to comment below if at restaurants near your home, they offer creamy garlic salad dressing. Is that I a Chicago like thing? Is it a Midwest? So good, it's my favorite salad dressing. The skyline is getting green. And we're gonna be back early tomorrow for the river dying. Yes, dear? No, no. No, no, what? No, no. Oh, you're so silly. Big boo. <laughs> and the parade. Parade is on Columbus. Oh, is that the first time you ever put your finger up your nose? Red premiere today on Disney Plus. We're gonna watch it. <laughs> James has been running away the past, like the last, I don't know, 45 minutes. 45 minutes of the movie, so we've had to keep his attention. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. You got the best laugh, James. Alrighty, we finished the movie. We we're about to start bedtime routine. Um, but we we absolutely loved Turning Red. It was such a good storyline. Stylistically, it was incredible um just like everything was just so like satisfying like visually and the characters were so charming the storyline was so important and i just like it's so cool that movies like this are coming out like the lesson that's taught in it and i just i hope everyone watches it um it's it's refreshing, I feel right now, that so many like generational cycles are being broken like in our society. I just think it's so cool that these types of storylines and diverse storylines and storylines from different perspectives and just that that this is gonna be the normal for our kids. And I just I just think that's really, really cool. Are you ready for the night night train? Good work on that remote. And I explore. Sometimes finding places I've never been. I imagine how old I can Erase the sunset all the way from the shadow. And I bring along bits of my adventures to share. Before we head off to bed, I just wanted to show you guys the print that Micaiah sent us. It is a Mary Blair take on the stork mural from, from Up, and it's beautiful. It goes so perfect with the rest of the artwork in James's room. Actually, probably perfectly on time for us to hang what we have. We might have to switch something out because this needs to go up. I got James down. Hopefully he stays down. I see I'm getting a notification he's got motion. So I'll make this quick. Great start to the weekend. Tomorrow we have the Chicago River Dying and the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. So those are the big things tomorrow. And then we have to start getting prepared for the Southside Irish Parade on Sunday. Um, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.